Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Tamira. So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, this is my first fall video of the year. Fall 2022, here we are. Like... I'm so excited. Today's look was really simple to do. I love how it ended up turning out. I just love the colors. I love everything about this look and I think it's perfect for fall. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, join the family. I really appreciate that. And hello to all of my new subscribers. I see you all. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell button. And that way you're notified every single time I upload a new video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with my brows first. So I haven't done my brows on camera in a long time. Nothing's changed at all. Like I literally do my brows the same exact way as I filmed it for you guys two years ago. Nothing's changed. So I'm taking this um, regular eyebrow pencil that I got from the beauty supply store and I'm just gonna like fill in my brows really quick. Okay, and after I fill them in, I'm taking this brow pomade by Morphe. This is what it looks like. And this is the shade Java. Java. I wanna first start off by saying thank you guys so much for all of the love and the support from my last video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to check out my last video. I have recorded myself meeting Aaliyah's face and I got so much love from it. I got so many different new subscribers from it as well. So many nice comments, just everything. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. I'm so glad y'all enjoyed it. I'm so glad I was able to capture those moments, which is so crazy because I was so worried. <laughs> I was worried I did not get enough footage because I was like bouncing back and forth from my camera, from my phone. I'm like, I want to get all this footage. And the main point of me, you know, vlogging is to make sure that I capture the moment that I met. Aaliyah, which it happened so it was amazing i'm so glad everyone enjoyed the vlog enjoyed the video i'm glad everybody enjoyed it so much to where they subscribed to my channel it's insane i started that video with 718 subscribers and i'm at like 881 i'm almost at 900 subscribers like it brings me so much joy i'm gonna be taking this tarte shape tape concealer to kind of clean up my brows it's really neat that um you guys watched my video and were able to subscribe and i subscribed back there's quite a few ladies that um subscribed to my channel that were also from the meet and greet vlog and they have their own channels and they're small like me and some that are like bigger than me i'm like oh my god like thank you so much for subscribing i'm gonna subscribe right back and i was able to watch you guys videos and it's so I don't know it's so neat and just all the love and all the support and just like how I was telling you guys in that vlog just the vibe alone at Aaliyah's meet and greet was amazing just being surrounded by all these all these different women who were all so supportive of one another like that that is huge if you watched my videos previously you already know I've already talked about this before on my channel how sometimes as a woman, especially as a black woman, being surrounded by other women, other black women, sometimes it can be very intimidating and uncomfortable sometimes because certain women can give you certain looks and just, I don't know, you get that a lot here in Atlanta. So it was really nice to 
be surrounded by so many beautiful women who are all very supportive of one another and to be able to connect outside of there and to be able to you know support each other's channels so i really love that i'm so glad that that happened so hello all the new subscribers it means the world to me because i've been doing this since 2020 and that's when i started my channel and it's so crazy to think that i'm about to be monetized very soon yeah, i'm super duper excited I'm so thankful for all the support and not even just on that video, but just all of my videos on my channel alone. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. But in other news, today's my first fall video. Like, first fall video of 2022. If you know me, you know fall is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite season. I love everything about fall. Like fall is just everything to me. So I feel like I look my best during the fall time. So I go crazy with fall content. I really hope y'all can't hear the construction that's going on outside my window. I really hope you can't hear it. If you can hear it, I do apologize. But they're doing construction outside and it's very annoying. I just wanna say shut up. Okay, they are so loud. I really hope y'all can't hear that, but all right. I'm gonna be taking this Morphe palette right here. This is the Up Till Dawn Artistry palette. And like I was telling y'all before, this palette is so nice. It's like the perfect transition from summer to fall. So the first two shades that I'm going to be taking are these two brown shades at the top right here. I like to start off with these two shades on my crease. shade I'm in the shade NW45 this is my bronzer shade this is the max studio fix powder and I'm gonna actually apply that to my lid So just to kind of deepen this up a little bit more, I'm going to be taking this darker brown shade right here. I'm going to apply that to my crease. Kind of warm this up a little bit i'm going to be taking this um warrior palette by juvia's place and i'm going to be taking this shade right here So going back into the Up Till Dawn palette, there's a black shade right here. So I'm going to take that black eyeshadow and create my own winged eyeliner with that. I don't know. It's just something about eyeshadow eyeliner that just does it for me. It's just so nice.
so we're gonna take a break from the eyes and I'm gonna start on my face so I'm gonna kind of run through my face makeup okay so I'm gonna start off using the LA girl pro concealer and I'm gonna mix that with my regular concealer and just apply that under the dark marks that I have on my face a little bit because a little goes a long way my chin right here I don't know where that came from my brows up here and then I'm gonna mix that with my concealer and blend that out foundation shade I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Born This Way. I'm in the shade Praline. subscribers here if you're looking for a really good foundation this Too Faced Born This Way is really really good and I have eczema so my skin's pretty sensitive to a lot of makeup brands um, but this one seems to be really fitting for me so highly recommend it especially if you have sensitive skin like me um, products like MAC Cosmetics um, like liquid products by MAC Cosmetics that breaks me out like crazy um even nars nars breaks me out and i really thought nars was gonna work for me and i took a sample of it yeah no and it's such a really good foundation as well but i try to stick to like tarte Too Faced, born this way juvia's place and maybelline maybelline's a really good one even though it's like a drugstore foundation still a really good foundation um, but those are makeup brands that typically work for me. So for concealer, again, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape. If I didn't tell y'all, I am in the shade Medium Tan Golden. I like my eyes I feel like my eyes look really good and it's a very simple kind of eye look too so I thought like this is coming out really cute so to set all this I'm using my Maybelline fit me loose powder I really like this loose powder a lot and I am in the shade light medium so I don't bake under my eyes I just press so I press in the product that's a lot hold on I press in the product and just blend it inside we'll blend it on my skin you always posting a pictures trying to look like you winning or look like you always be working Soak in the moments you live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus So next, I'm going 
going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm in the shade NC45. I'm going to be taking my Morphe brush. This is the M527 brush right here. And I really like to use that for my face powder. Take my bronzer shade again. This is the Max Studio Fix, and this is the shade in W45. off the eyes I'm gonna be hopping back into my up till dawn artistry palette right here I'm gonna be using these two right here I'm gonna apply that to the bottom of my eye I kind of want this to be a little bit more Bold. I'm gonna hop back into that palette and I'm gonna be taking a little bit of black eyeshadow. For blush, it is in the shade Peach Bliss. I always like to use this for my blush, so. While my face is just a little bit wet, I'm going to be putting on some highlighter. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution highlighter in the shade Raise the Bar. This is what it looks like. I'm stop and stop and get excited. We just love fall around here, okay? Well, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed today's look. I hope you enjoyed today's video as a whole. My first fall video of 2022. I really love how this came out. I think this is really pretty. I think it's very easy to do. And I don't know, it's just, it's a vibe. Like this is giving fall. Like we are ready for pumpkin patches. We are ready for haunted houses. We are ready for the fall festivities. Like this is it. 
I think this is nice. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. You guys know me, I love fall. I'm a fall queen, I'm a fall girl. So stay tuned for more fall videos and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you all in my next video.